So now let's get into the actual setup of the boost control. By holding down the select button, this turns on the boost controller. So now we're in the low mode. So you'll see low on top of the screen. By hitting the select button again, it will get into high. So this select button scrolls through high and low. So now let's set this low boost mode first. By selecting the mode button, get into this menu, and you'll see set, gain, start, peak, warning, and limiter. So we'll get into all that feature one by one. First is set. So here, set mode determines the boost pressure that you're gonna be running, and by turning this knob, you could increase and set the number to desired percentage. So this number doesn't represent boost pressure. So if it says 10, it's not 10 PSI or 10 KPA, it's the percentage of the boost controller that's gonna be controlling the actual solenoid valve. So depending on the application, whether it's internal wastegate or external wastegate, it's almost a, a trial and error to figure out what percentage increases what increments of boost that you're gonna be running on that setup. So for low boost, I would start off almost from five to 10% just to see how much that increases the boost. So this is where it's very important to be tuned by a trained professional that knows how the turbo system works and what kind of numbers are safe to run so you have to know what that engine's maximum boost capability is, and then from there, you're gonna be setting the low and high. So that's set setting. Let us show you what that does. All right, so once you get your uh, boost controller set over the low boost setting, go ahead and press the mode button and first we're going to start with the set boost, which is basically a percentage over the stock wastegate. So normally you're going to want to start with around 5 to 10 percent small increments just to figure out what exactly your, your increments equate to in uh, boost levels. Here are the baseline results from the Supra. As you can see in this graph, set boost is set to 0%, boosting 10 PSI, making 253 horsepower. All right, so after that first baseline, it looks like the, the stock boost is around 10, nine to 10 pounds. So for low boost, we're gonna target around 12 pounds and see where, uh, where that gets us. Now we set the set boost to 20%, giving us 12 PSI. We have increased the boost throughout the power curve with peak power at 275 horsepower. All right, next is gain. Gain is used to set the consistency of the boost. If you notice that your boost curve at higher RPM either tapers off or spikes up, gain setting could control that. So to set that, push the set button to get into that mode. And so if the boost is spiking up, go to negative number to bring back down to your desired boost. And if it is tapering off, you want positive number to bring up the boost to your desire. So depending on if it's tapering off or spiking up towards the end of the RPM, this is used to make it more consistent. Here we adjusted the gain setting to 10%, giving us more consistent boost shown in the red zone in the graph. This gave us additional 13 horsepower overall compared to 0% gain setting. You might notice the power drop between 2500 to 3500 RPM. This is just some inconsistency during our test. The dip at 3500 to 4000 RPM is due to the OEM sequential turbo configuration. So next is the start boost mode. So this is probably one of the best feature of this boost controller, and it actually controls and maximize the turbo response, the boost response of your setup. So by 
hitting the set, get into that mode, and then the number that you're putting in here is actually in pressure. So if you have your unit set to PSI, this is the actual boost pressure setting. So if you're trying to run, say, 10 PSI, you want to set it close to it, but not at that pressure. So 10 PSI, so you want to set this to close to 8.5, 9 PSI. So what that does is boost controller will hold the pressure going into the actuator or the wastegate until 9 PSI so you don't have the boost creep so it's not opening up the actuator so all the exhaust energy is going through the turbo until that last minute of when you want the, the desired target boost so it gives you the best response possible and it could be best described on the illustration that we're going to be showing but uh, that's how that's set. So once you have that set, and if you notice that the boost actually spikes up above your target, so if your target was 10, but it spiked up to 11 and then settled down to, to 10, then you have your start boost set to high. So you need to bring that down maybe half a percent to a percent to get that perfect. So as you can see, you need this tune by again, a professional tuner and preferably on the dyno to kind of monitor your boost pressure and get this fine-tuned. But this feature will give you the, the best response possible. So it's a very important setting. And to confirm that, push the set again and get to the next menu. So next is peak. This is the last highest value that was recorded. So obviously we haven't run so it doesn't have anything here, but if you made a pass, this will display the highest value that was recorded. And also in your setup menu, if you turn the feature on for the peak, then it will show every pass in the digital display what the peak was. Next is warning mode. So this is a built-in safety mode where you could get audio and visual warning if it reaches a certain value. So just an example, earlier we we're trying to achieve 10 PSI. If you don't want the car to go anything above 12 PSI, sometimes it'll spike up, but if the 12 is absolute max that you want to run in a low boost mode, you set to 12 and you'll get audio and visual warning at that 12 PSI. So again, every vehicle is different. You need to know what the maximum limit is and that's where you want to put that number in. And to confirm, hit the set. Okay, so the last setting is the limiter. So this works conjunction with the warning. So when the warning hits, this limiter, the setting, actually brings the boost down until it brings back down under your warning setting. So it's a great safety feature to have. And this is in percentage of the duty cycle again, same as the set setting. So the number you put in here is not by PSI or KPA, but the percentage of the duty cycle, it's gonna lower your boost to bring your boost down below the limit, warning limit. So it's a great feature to have. And again, click to secure that. This is the final graph showing the higher set boost setting at 50%. Now you see the difference from 0% to 20% in low mode and 50% in high mode, increasing the boost to 16 PSI, producing 300 horsepower. Okay, this concludes the installation and tuning instructional video, but make sure to read and fully understand the instruction manual that's included with this kit before any installation, or make sure that it is installed and tuned by a trained professional. We are playing with boost and high horsepower so it's very important to make sure that everything is installed and tuned properly. Enjoy and have fun. And if you have any questions, please give us a call 
and I'll see you in the next video.